And welcome back, everybody. Joe Biden is beginning to fill out his cabinet nominations, but many in the Jewish community are starting to show us concern about the anti-Israeli nominations Biden has put forward, including a guy by the name of Tony Blinken for Secretary of State and Avril Haines for Director of National Intelligence. Joining us now to talk about this and the growing strain of anti-Semitism within the Socialist Democrat Party itself. We're joined by Morton Klein. He's the uh, national president of the Zionist Organization of America, founded in 1897. It is the oldest pro-Israel organization in the United States. Sir, thank you for taking the time. Uh, could, you, could you walk us through uh, some of these cabinet picks and explain how you see them as being anti-Israel? Almost every major pick that he's appointed is someone hostile to Israel. Anthony Blinken, Secretary of State, uh, <clears throat> after a top staffer of, of Biden's, apologized for the Democratic Party having Linda Sarsour, a major Israel basher and Jew hater, speaking at the Democratic National Convention. After uh, one of his people apologized, Blinken went to Sarsour and her people, apologized to her and them and pleaded for support from them, saying how sorry he is they never should have said these negative things uh, about this overt Israel basher, Jew hater. Uh, he also has spoken at the most virulent anti-Israel conferences, uh, uh, where you have BDS speakers, uh, you have uh, people who support the worst people in Congress when it comes to Israel. And he called these, these groups a constructive force for America and for Israel, a constructive force, ridiculous. And uh, in addition, he has refused and opposed the Iran terrorist group, IRGC, to be put on the terrorist list. This is a group that helped plan 9-11, <clears throat> funds, trains, and uh, arms Hezbollah, Hamas, PFLP, vicious terrorist groups against America and against Israel. <laughs> and uh, Avril Haines, uh, who's uh, the candidate for director of national intelligence, has signed horrific anti-Israel le letters demanding more criticism of Israel, uh, condemning Israel for violence, terrorism, incitement, ridiculous, and complaining that the Democratic platform uh, doesn't uh, say enough about uh, Israel's uh, horrible actions. Uh, and Rima Dudin, I might add, is even worse. She's an, uh, a top leader of the Office of Legislative Affairs proposed, Rima Dudin. She has legitimized suicide bombings, saying this is the only thing that the Palestinian Arabs can do to promote their agenda. She's legitimized and supports wow. murdering Jews. It's shocking. And well, she said 9-11 happened well, Morton, only because of your support for Israel. And there's many more. Yeah, there's many Morton, more. Let, let's, 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 let's do a contrast here, because since <laughs> President <laughs> Trump abandoned the Obama Democrat socialist way of conducting Middle Eastern affairs, peace has broken out in the Middle East. You have four Arab nations now in treaties with Israel. That happened not courtesy of Barack Obama, the, the guy who received the Nobel Peace Prize, laughingly. That happened because of President Trump, because he took a different angle on this. What would you expect to happen if, if Beijing Biden is sworn in on the, uh, in January? What, do you expect those, those policies to be reversed? And remember, it was Obama who wanted to gift the, the state of, of Iran, the number one state sponsor of terrorism, nuclear weapons to have within 10 years. So what do you expect the damage will be to Israel and the Middle East if, if we're cursed with Biden? It is frightening. The Arab countries will not have confidence in this administration of doing what they understand needs to be done to fight Iran, to really stop them from nuclear weapons. This administration has publicly said they're going back to the Iran deal. The Iran deal uh, allows Iran to get nuclear weapons within 13 to 15 years. Now it's actually 8 to 10 years since uh, a number of years have gone by. Very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And almost every one of these people he's appointing supports the Iran deal. <laughs> so there's going to be, I believe, an end to any real deals with any more Arab countries under Trump. We had four major peace treaties, and more were to come. I know I've spoken to people on the inside. Saudi Arabia and other countries were ready to do peace deals. This will all stop now. It's really a, a, a total disaster. And the press secretaries, a by tragedy. the way, supported the yeah, tragedy. Jan Pasaki and Karine Jean-Pierre, the two press secretaries, uh, question Israel's commitment to peace, uh, uh, tell uh, major Democrats not to attend pro-Israel conferences. Every person oh, he's chosen is somewhat hostile to Israel. Uh, and Trump Morton, was the greatest I, I, friend. 
Yes. Yeah, I know. I hear. No, I think you're right. And I think Bibi Netanyahu would agree with you that he was the greatest friend to Israel that they have seen in an awful long time. Morton Klein, thank you very much. I just plumb out of time. We'll talk to you again. Coming up, Honest Abe is declared a racist by leftists in San Francisco. How they're trying to cancel America's 16th president. Coming up when we talk to Diamond and Silk next on Newsmax TV.